How to play the minor scale. The minor scale is probably the second most important scale you can learn. The major scale is definitely the most important. However, there's an awful lot of theory that also needs you to know the minor scale. And knowing the major and the minor scale would be really useful if you decided you wanted to learn the modal scales, as both scales are an important part of that. This video will be broken down into three lessons that get progressively harder. So we'll start with the one octave natural minor scale, then we'll do a two octave natural minor scale, and finally we'll take a look at one of the alternative ways of playing the two octave natural minor scale. And at the end of the video, we'll take a look at some basic theory that's connected with the natural minor scale. Now, there are two types of minor scale the harmonic minor and the natural minor. And in this lesson, we'll just be looking at the natural minor scale. However, we'll cover the harmonic minor in a future lesson. Right, let's get started. How to play the one octave G natural minor scale. If you want to learn this scale from this video, you'll have to have a guitar on your knee so you can copy what I'm doing. And we'll start with this screen showing the scale map, the tablature, but also which fingers of your fingering hand to use. And I'll talk you through the scale. Here we go then. Play the third fret of the bottom E string with your first finger. Play the fifth fret of the bottom E string with your third finger. Play the sixth fret of the bottom E string with your fourth finger. Now play the third fret of the A string with your first finger. Play the fifth fret of the A string with your third finger and play the sixth fret of the A string with your fourth finger. Play the third fret of the D string with your first finger and finally play the fifth fret of the D string with your third finger. Right, let's do that again, but this time we'll show my hand on the guitar. Play the third fret of the bottom E string with your first finger. Play the fifth fret of the bottom E string with your third finger. Play the sixth fret of the bottom E string with your fourth finger. Now play the third fret of the A string with your first finger. Play the fifth fret of the A string with your third finger and play the sixth fret of the A string with your fourth finger. Play the third fret of the D string with your first finger and finally play the fifth fret of the D string with your third finger. If this scale's new to you, it would be worth you going away and practicing it for a while before attempting the next exercise, which is just to play it up and back down again. Here's that being done with a metronome at 60 beats per minute and a two bar or eight beat introduction. And here that is again, slightly faster at 100 beats per minute. Wow. 
Once you're happy with that scale, we can move on to the next scale. An important point I need to mention here is that you shouldn't try to copy my fingering style too closely. I'm pulling my fingers away from the guitar so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Whereas you should really keep your fingers quite close to the guitar and to where you want them to be. Obviously, if I did this whilst I was filming, you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. How to play the two octave A natural minor scale. And the reason I've chosen this one for the next scale to cover is because really it's just an extension of the first scale you've learnt. You can see here in the greyed out notes, these are the notes we'll be adding to the first scale. You'll also notice that this scale starts on a different note. So this is an A natural minor scale, whereas the previous scale we did, which started on the third fret, was a G natural minor scale. Right, let's go through this scale note by note. Firstly, play the fifth fret of the bottom E string with the first finger. Then play the seventh fret of the bottom E string with the third finger. Play the eighth fret of the bottom E string with the fourth finger. Play the fifth fret of the A string with the first finger. Play the seventh fret of the A string with the third finger. Play the eighth fret of the A string with the fourth finger. Play the fifth fret of the D string with the first finger. And play the seventh fret of the D string with the third finger. Now you have to move your position down one. Play the fourth fret of the G string with the first finger. Then play the fifth fret of the G string with the second finger. Play the seventh fret of the G string with the fourth finger. Move up a position. Play the fifth fret of the B string with the first finger. Play the sixth fret of the B string with the second finger. And play the eighth fret of the B string with the fourth finger. Finally, play the fifth fret of the top E string with the first finger. Right, here that is again, but this time showing my hand. Firstly, play the fifth fret of the bottom E string with the first finger. Then play the seventh fret of the bottom E string with the third finger. Play the eighth fret of the bottom E string with the fourth finger. Play the fifth fret of the A string with the first finger. Play the seventh fret of the A string with the third finger. Play the eighth fret of the A string with the fourth finger. Play the fifth fret of the D string with the first finger. And play the seventh fret of the D string with the third finger. Now you have to move your position down one. Play the fourth fret of the G string with the first finger. Then play the fifth fret of the G string with the second finger. Play the seventh fret of the G string with the fourth finger. Move up a position. Play the fifth fret of the B string with the first finger. Play the sixth fret of the B string with the second finger. And play the eighth fret of the B string with the fourth finger. Finally, play the fifth fret of the top E string with the first finger. Right, let's hear that scale being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar or eight beat introduction. Ah, 
as with the first scale in this lesson, once you think you've mastered it, try playing it, up the guitar and then back down. Here it is being played at 80 beats per minute with a two bar introduction. And here that is again at 100 beats per minute with a two bar or eight beat introduction. Now, there's multiple ways of playing the natural minor scale. However, to be completely honest, it's not worth learning them all. But if you want to take a look at some of the variations in this scale, I've created an ebook which you can find at www.ebooksforguitar.com. And to find that, you go to Lessons, select whether you're right or left handed, then you look for Chord Theory and you'll find it in there. And it's completely free and you don't even need to leave an email address. So that's a really useful resource I would recommend you downloading. And the alternative version I'll be showing you now is the only one that doesn't have a finger position change in it. How to play an alternative version of the A natural minor scale. And we'll get right into it showing my hand on the guitar. Firstly then, play the 5th fret of the bottom E string with your 1st finger. Play the 7th fret of the bottom E string with your 3rd finger. Play the 8th fret of the bottom E string with your 4th finger. Play the 5th fret of the A string with your 1st finger. Play the 7th fret of the A string with your 3rd finger. Play the 8th fret of the A string with your 4th finger. Play the 5th fret of the D string with your 1st finger. Play the 7th fret of the D string with your 3rd finger. Play the 9th fret of the D string with your 4th finger. Play the 5th fret of the G string with your 1st finger. Play the 7th fret of the G string with your 3rd finger. Play the 5th fret of the B string with your 1st finger. Play the 6th fret of the B string with your 2nd finger. Play the 8th fret of the B string with your 4th finger. And finally play the 5th fret of the top E string with your 1st finger. Here that is being played at 80 beats per minute with a 2 bar or 8 beat introduction. As we did with the first two scales, it's worth practicing first getting it up the scale, but then playing it up the scale and back down. So here that is again at 100 beats per minute with a two bar or eight beat introduction going up and down the scale. Right, 
let's conclude with some basic theory, as hopefully it'll answer some of the questions that might have popped into your head during this lesson. Natural minor scale basic theory. The first thing I'll address is the name of the chord, and you'll notice that the one octave scale we did was called G, and the two octave scale we've done it was called A. And this is because of the position of the root note, or the note we start on. The one octave scale we looked at started on the third fret of the bottom E string, and therefore it was a G scale, whereas the two octave scale we looked at started on the fifth fret of the bottom E string, and therefore this was an A scale. And what this means is you can actually move the scale pattern up the neck to create new scales. So for example, if you play the two octave natural minor scale on the seventh fret, it would be a B. Or if you played it on the eighth fret, it would be a C. And because of this, it's really useful to try and memorize the name of the notes on the bottom E string. Another question that sometimes comes up, but not so commonly, is what's the difference between the major scale and the Ionian scale and the minor scale and the Aeolian scale? And the answer to that is nothing at all. One's just the common name, whereas the other's the modal name. So the major scale is the Ionian scale and the minor scale is the Aeolian scale. Learning and understanding modal scales is quite a long and complicated subject, so I've done a complete course on this, and you can find that in the playlists on my channel, or I'll put the link down below in the description. And like all my courses, you can also find it at www.ebooksforguitar.com. But something that is useful for this video is the fact that in the previous video, we studied C major, and in this one, we studied A natural minor, and that isn't by chance. A natural minor is the relative minor of C major, and therefore, the two scales can be used in the same piece of music and they'll work together. Or if you're trying to learn to solo or improvise, you can use both of these scales with any backing that's in C major. Hopefully, from watching this video, you've got at least a basic understanding of the natural minor scale. And if you can't play it by now, you should be able to play it if you try learning it from this video. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon, and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Also, take a look in the description, because I'll put links to other useful videos and playlists that will help you understand what you've learned today.